Uh, well, um, it was in 2010 when I was decorated with the ambassador status and then subsequently in 2000, uh, I mean to NASA and then subsequently to ESA in the year, I think about 2014, 2013, 14 and 2017, uh, 2016 to 18, I think it was the Russian Space Center. Well, uh, I, I mentioned to you earlier, I like to walk the path which is not walked by many, you know. So this was a rugged path. People never thought about space much. Even if they thought, they thought you need to be a scientist or you need to be an astronaut to do something. So that is where I think God gave me the opportunity to, you know, step first. So probably I was the first in the race to run and I was given the ambassador status. But, uh, you know, that was happiness initially because I was there at home for 16 years and then came out and, you know, getting the ambassador status and all was a fantasy. So I was so proud and happy and everything. But then subsequently, as years rolled by, you know, I got to understand the financial implications, you know, how children had to pay so much to go there to study, to do this, this entire space camp thing, which almost involved about, you know, three and a half lakhs to NASA and, you know, about two, two and a half to ESA and about two to Russia. I wondered, okay, we need to learn uh, the history of space. Yes, they are pioneers, so we need to go there to learn. But why not have something like this here in India? Even a, you know, a child from the last village of our country would get an opportunity to be there to learn about space. What has he or she done to be deprived of this? So I started fighting for that. I started making presentations everywhere. In fact, I had the opportunity to interact with the Prime Minister, uh, you know, in 2020, December 14th. So there also I made a presentation. I said, we need something like this in India. If you look at it in a business perspective, you get your business also because there is no such uh, research center or a research park here in the Middle East or in the Southeast Asian countries. So this is definitely going to be a revenue generation model for the economical growth. Because that is where in the US they actually, uh, you know, awarded me for, uh, you know, uh, increase in the percentile of tourism in the state of Florida. And that hit me hard. I was not happy that day because what am I doing, you know, uh, building the resources and building the finances of uh, Florida, the state of Florida, where I don't belong to. I learned. Yes, of course. Yes, I respect. But I need to do that for India. And uh, so that is the reason I've made a couple of presentations and hopefully now we are making a presentation to the Tamil Nadu CM. So hopefully we will get that somewhere in India. You know, so that is my dream. So it is not the dearth of people here. It is just that who is taking the first step. I think uh, without challenges, you know, if you're not put to a corner, your true self doesn't come out, right? It is not only for me, it is for everybody, every individual. More so for a woman because uh, I belong to that sandwich generation that I mentioned earlier. So where women are looked upon as people who should be taking care of the family. You know, even though they have a lot of passion, it has to be only uh, domestically oriented passion. You cannot be flying a flight and all that, which is like very rarest of things. Today you have a, a girl, a 21 year old who's flying a Rafael. I mean, that's amazing. But in our generation, all this was very difficult. We would only do needle and thread. We could only do pottery or something related domestic. So uh, here is where my husband is not a villain. Huh? Let me just tell everybody. It's not a villain. The only thing is they are having a, you know, a preconceived idea that, you know, if I'm going to send my wife to work, what is the next house going to think about me? What is my family going to think about me? Am I, uh, you know, earning her, I mean, running the house with her resources? So it is all in the mind, you know, so to break that jinx was very, very difficult for me. It was very difficult for me. 
but i uh, you know i don't like to fight my nature is very very like i'm a very sober person so you know i keep talking i give i cite examples of somebody else and i was blessed with a daughter so you know she is doing law so i keep telling my husband when you think that your daughter wants to be you know you foresee her to be a supreme court justice my father also would have seen a dream like that so you know if you're able to talk and make them understand i think it will take for some people it will take one year for some people it will take 3 years for some people for me it took 16 years and even until this day you know it is ingrained within me that you know family is first so anything i just rush there you know so uh but there are a lot of people who have come out who have come out who have built in beautiful careers and are able to take the support of outside help so in spite of you know having people nagging you talking ill about you and more so was the profession that i chose or rather the profession that chose me was something so very weird and dif- uh, different we had to be there in the labs for 24 hours sometimes when we were building this is a satellite a 3u satellite this is our latest one that we launched the satish dhawan sat year last through isro So when we are uh, you know building these satellites and all that you know it really takes our time so we need to really know how to balance it and uh, so that time what happens is uh, you know you kind of uh, think which is priority so you prioritize everything you put notes how to work on this I am not an engineering graduate so that is a big drawback people just mocked at me how can a woman first you know do something which was not done almost at least in the last uh, uh, 75 years of independence yes 75 of uh, years of independence not one woman has done something like this so who is this woman to do something like this she is not from an aeronautical she's not from a aerospace background she's not from an engineer engineering background she's from a commerce background so that is where i want to put my foot down and tell people that it doesn't matter what you study if you don't know something you learn that as you walk that path you get people you get experts to work for that so i think now we are in a world which is a real blessing that we have people who can understand all this and uh, you know include you in the whole party so women i would say pull up your socks never feel guilty you know that guilt trip is always pulling the woman down you know whether i'm doing the right thing whether i'm you know i'm not fed my child my husband is going to come home you know all these things are a guilt trip within her shed the guilt trip you are good at what you're doing you know how to balance you have beautiful instincts within you listen to the instincts work with the instincts and you will make the best out of your family and your profession So uh, we have uh, moved on from a research uh, organization into a commercial organization now building uh, satellites and rockets for the commercial world that is predominantly for the communication uh, you know communications we are developing a uh, you know a technology called the lora technology it is available uh, there but still we are enhancing that that's a kind of a secondary internet it could play a role of a secondary internet and during disaster times uh, you know because this has got a huge bandwidth with little uh, you know power source so this can reach the remote villages during the disaster times so this is the kind of satellite that we are focusing on and especially if we are able to build a swarm of satellites like say about 50 satellites or 100 satellites and we are looking at something uh, of 250 grams not huge satellites that is where you know we uh, have broken the ceiling instead of large satellites though na- nano satellites were in existence we kind of broke that and we got into being the pioneers in building that so this is what is our vision now we want to build swarm of satellites at least about 50 satellites for the communication industry so for this we need a huge support from the industry because uh, as of now uh, hexaware has supported us for the r&d purpose but moving on for commercializing this whole thing uh, we need uh, huge funds so if i have to talk in indian terms indian terms we need at least about uh, 500 crores 
so that is where you can really build in a huge infrastructure which can you know uh, help us with the testing facility and uh, then we can uh, build these 50 satellites to 100 satellites.